Senator Tammy Baldwin's trip through northeast Wisconsin continued today in Green Bay. She spent time talking to people from Green Bay's sewerage and water programs tackling the topic of blue-green algae. Local 5's John Dommel gives us a look at what was learned and what we can do to get rid of the pollution. We know so little about what causes them, when to expect them, how to combat them. Blue-green algae blooms are becoming a little more pervasive. I really think there's a, a very clear need for more investment in the science and the research. Let's start with what we know. Blue-green algae is more specifically known as cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria are some of the oldest organisms in the world. They're not going away anytime soon. There are blooms every year, but the goal is to cut them down. Blue-green algae loves warmer water, especially when it's over 80 degrees. It's going to look like a pea soup scum on the surface of the water. It's probably going to have a nice odor to it, not nice in a good way. Like it or not, we're all contributing to the blooms. The irony is that we are also the solution. Making sure your leaves are raked and they don't fall into the storm sewer. Making sure that you pick up your dog waste. Just little things to kind of keep what's on the land on the land and out of the water. Blue-green algae produce toxins that can be harmful if swallowed. And just getting into contact with it can cause a reaction. So keep an eye out and keep your distance. Maybe your throat's going to get a little scratchy, you might get a rash, and because these are so nonspecific, it's really hard to say that your rash did come from blue-green algae, but that is something that you, you might encounter if you're going to swim or recreate in some of that green water. Reporting in Green Bay, John Dommel, Local 5 News. And Senator Baldwin says the recently passed farm bill would be a good first step toward minimizing the spread of blue-green algae.